Yeah. Who's this local joker? Oh, true. Oh, true. Oh, true. I do. Absolutely. Yo, the law? I don't trust uh, Thomas Burnett. Oh, T H O M A S B U R N E T T E. I don't trust him. Good afternoon, Mr. Burnett. How are you doing? Hey, how are you? Uh, Ms. Burnett, did you did you drive or, or fly here today? Fly. Um, you're from uh, another state? Charlotte. And what do you currently do for a living? I'm a service consultant at an Infinity dealership in Charlotte. And this is what we doing? What was the first year that you began work? Yo. Wow. It's corny, Ricky. They try and spin back to this, man. He an infinity rep, y'all. This is, this is, oh my gee whiz. Working for Infinity. Uh, 1997. What did you do when you first began working for Infinity in 1997? I was a valet. Uh, I was a valet while I was going through college. And. Yo, a professional car handler, man. What did Ray tell us? He can't tell us who was in the Infinity. He, he can't tell from that video footage that was in Infinity indefinitely. Nope. In that capacity, would you drive Infinity cars? Yes. Um, after that, where did you end up? Did you ever end up getting a degree? Yes. Where did you get your degree? Uh, DeVry University. And what was your degree? In? A major in car bodies. In. Business administration. Uh, did you get that here in the state of Georgia? Yes. Objection now, relevance. After when you first were working, as a valet, what was the next job that you had after getting your degree? With Infinity or just the next job period? Next job period. Uh, I was in furniture sales. What did you do after that? I uh, went back to Infinity. Uh, what drew you back to Infinity? How did you end up back working for them? Uh, just a familiarity. I had a relationship with the manager at the store and they kind of asked me to was opportunity, so I went back. Now, when you went what? to Infinity this time, what was your job position? Uh, currently, what I do, a service consultant. Now, can you explain for the jury what is a service consultant? What what all do you do? Um, oh. So um, I meet with the clients or customers that come in for maintenance or repairs on their vehicle. I assess what the vehicle needs. Um, whether it's a uh, check engine light on or a leak or no starting issue. Um, I've been Yo, a check engine specialist. Get him out of here. Basically get the information from the client and put that in a manner so where the technicians can properly diagnose the vehicle. Once it's diagnosed, I reach out to the client um, and let them know what repairs are needed and gain the authorization to fix the car and then basically handle the client throughout the process on updating them. Let them know when the car is ready, payment, et cetera. Quick question. What's the wheelbase on a, on a G35? Five, four, three, two, one. Bom, get him out of here. Now, as a service consultant, with what all you just described in terms of your job, what all you do in that job is, do you have to have familiarity with the makes and models of Infinity. Yes. Um, can you explain for the jury how you gain familiarity with Infinity makes and models as a service consultant? Well, we have to do certification tests um, quarterly to make sure we're certified. And then, you know, also just being around the vehicles, you learn and pick up certain common things about the cars and you have to identify certain things with them to know what year it is, what kind of type of oil it takes. So when you're quoting prices, you know, you quote them accurately. So. Now, as a service consultant, is your is your primary focus uh, is it true or false that you know you're focused on the, the clients that come in? Mainly, yeah. Yo, let me know in the comments what he like to drink. He got his lip section is crazy. His lip section is crazy. Let me know in the comments what he like to drink. I'm gonna say Seagram's gin, the green bottle. Now, to be an effective service consultant, do you, with Infinity, do you have to understand the technician side of the business? Yes, because I have to basically interpret as far as what the client's saying, 
far as sometimes help the technician understand what the issue is. And then there's a lot of terms and uh, expressions that technicians will explain to what's wrong with the car. And sometimes that's not always not customer friendly for us to understand what actually the issue. So sometimes I have to do some interpretation as far as making it uh, a little under, easier to understand on what actually is going on with the vehicle. Now, Mr. Burnett, jumping back to Whoa. after you hey, got your Burnett. and you worked in. <laughs> Yo, he go for namesake. He go for namesake. He go for Burnett. And he tell his friends and them that's his grandfather that made that. And they stole the recipe for the alcohol. And he been drinking it ever since. It's an excuse to cop low. He cop bottom shelf. Burnett bottom shelf. And uh, when you first went back to Infinity, what location were you working out of? Uh, South Atlanta. Infinity of South Atlanta. Is that the one on 4201 Jonesboro Road? Correct. Now, how long did you, what year was it that you? Uh, 2005. And how long did you work at that location? Uh, till oh, no. 2020, 20, 21, I'm sorry. So roughly about 15 years? Yes. Now, over those 15 years, how often would you drive Infinity cars in any capacity? Uh, every day. Yo drink corn liquor and Kool-Aid. Yo a true gangster. Yo one of them type guys pull up with that, <laughs> that 190 proof. Corn liquor out the gallon. Cheap. You ain't never seen the label. You like, yo, what, what is that? He like, boy, you don't want none of this. Like, what is that in the other cup? Kool-Aid. Whoa, bro. You can't drink that together. Yes, you can. Would you drive them in both daylight and nighttime? Yes. I've also owned, I currently own Infinity, and I've also owned Infinities from, from like 2007 on. So. Do you get some perks working for Infinity in terms of, Owning an Infinity or buying one? Yeah, we do get some uh, discounts or considerations as far as whatever. So. Now, what kind of vehicle do you currently drive? Uh, Q50, Infinity Q50, 2020 Infinity Q50. Now, since Hell yeah, somebody said moonshine. Do y'all know where the moonshine at? Yo know where the moonshine at? Yo know where the moonshine at? <laughs> you've been working for Infinity. When did the Infinity Q50 first come on the market? Uh, 2014. Now, was when it first came on the market, what type of, how would you describe an Infinity Q50? Uh, it's a sports sedan um, built on performance. Um, it was pretty unique in design as far as at the time, as far as um, it had distinct features, as far as the headlights, tail lights, the front grille. Cat. Um, were pretty distinctive at the time Cat. when it first came out. Now, is there any Cat. Infinity model or make that is similar back in 2014 when the Q50s first came on the market? No, there was a, a G37 sedan, but it looked to completely different than the Q50. It wasn't really, it was a whole different design. So Now, is there any significance to the G37 in terms of the name of that car versus the Q50? Uh, no. In terms uh, of the lettering or number? Oh, well, like, as far as the G37 was basically named after the engine size. So the 37 is how Infinity used to distinguish what size engine was in the car. Um, when the 3. Q50 7? came out, it was the beginning of the rebadging to where all the late, like, same models had basically had the same. So a Q50 is the, the sedan, the four-door sedan. A Q60 would be the two-door car. And then... They identify the engine size by the callus on the side of the car, whether it's a 2.0 engine or 3.0 or 3.7 back when it first came out in, in 14. Now, you have described a decal on the side of the Infiniti Q50. Is that unique to that make and model? Pretty unique. You don't see it a lot on other makes. You know, most makes don't identify what engine size is in the car by, what's on, by any type of badging on the side. So. So previously, Infinity, you would know the engine size based on the name, the name, yeah. and then after that, they put a visual indication of the engine size. Correct. Yeah, they were kind of tired of changing names every time a new engine came out. So it went from like G thirty five to G thirty seven, um, and then it stopped, and then they just changed the badge on all the cars to Q. That makes sense. Now, are all the makes and models in the Infinity fleet? Start with Q? Correct. Yeah, this, the cars are Q, and then the SUVs are QX. 
Now, you were working for Infinity in 2014 when the Q50 first came out. Yes. Yo, do look like Booker off Good Times. Whoever said that, they hit it on the head. Holmes even got this the, the jean color. How yo got what man has the Infinity Q50? Does it have a sunroof? Yes, uh, pretty much more, probably 80% of the models or maybe even higher have a sunroof. The only ones that don't have a sunroof are the Q50As, and that's on the back of the car. You'll see the A, and that was kind of like the base entry-level car. Now, are you, sp- are you speaking exact or are you speaking roughly? W- what are we doing? You going just roughly off to your head, like what you remember, or like you qualified to state the real stats? What we doing right now? Um, which we didn't sell very many of those cars because they dealerships wouldn't order them because they didn't. They oh, now you into sales. Okay. They wouldn't sell them. So now when you, you said when you went back in 2005, you worked till 2020, what did you do after leaving the South Atlanta infinity in 2020? I worked, uh, I moved to a few dealerships around. Initially I took a job as a service manager at a, a Nissan store in LaGrange, Georgia. Um, that didn't quite work out, so I worked at... Uh, what, can you, you care to explain what you mean it didn't work out? I mean, you didn't get caught stealing boxes, did you? At the Nissan and Morrow. Um, then I went back to Infinity, um, different location. I was at the uh, Cobb County location in Nally. And then I worked uh, for Lexus for a short period of time before the Infinity South Atlanta store asked me to come back. And that was in last year. So you kind of went full circle back to that yes, South Atlanta Infinity? Yes. How did that come about? Uh, I was up there getting the oil change on my car. And the what? manager that was kind of like a consultant there at the time, he was just working part-time, he was retired. He, um, Him and the current manager asked if I was interested in coming back because um, I had still a lot of clients that would come through the store. Hey, bro, I ain't going to lie. Julian called out today. We need somebody to cover the fuckboy shift. Damn, I ain't stand. I got somewhere to be, man. I ain't even gonna lie. We might have to shut this bitch down. Yo, ain't that Booker? Booker who? Booker used to work here. Where? Over there getting his oil changed. Look right there. Tell this bitch ass, come over here. We gotta get his ass to work the shift. He the one, he the best nigga ever worked the fuckboy shift ever. Get him. Hey, Booker. What you doing right here getting the oil changed, boy? You want to come to this work, boy? We got a couple of hours for you. I know you need some work, boy. Your punk ass ain't doing nothing, boy. Look at that old ass car you driving, boy. You tripping, boy. They were asking for me and stuff. Um, so they asked if I had any interest in coming back. And, you know, it, it, it lined up with what I needed at the time. So I went back. Now, what do you like about working for Infinity? over these years? Um, I like taking care of customers. I um, also right. like the product. Oh. Hang on just a second. Oh, if sorry. you hear somebody say objection, will you just pause for a minute while I deal with that? Sustained. Yes. Now, yes, Your Honor. Mr. Burnett, I'm going to That's why he drank liquor, y'all. They got him on a fuckboy shift, y'all. He needed bread, bro. He needed the hours, so they put him on a fuckboy shift. That's why he drank he be drinking them little ass things, y'all. And he try to gulp them fast. That's why his damn lips like that. They start fading and getting bright. Then he just went and got them all the way bleached. Yeah. What's been marked as states exhibit 459 Yankee and 459 Yankee Alpha. He think about all the infinity seeds he was there. He wanted to make his way up working at the Benz dealer. Because the infinity dudes just looked down upon, you feel me? Yo got the funny ass Geneva watch. I ain't fucking with you at the dealer. I 
thought you was a cop. Yo, he looked like that funny ass YouTuber from Texas. I know y'all know what I'm talking about. Hip hop politician. What is that nigga that? <laughs> oh, oh, hi. Brandon, the witness, both 459 Yankee and 459 Yankee Alpha. Ms. Burnett, uh, what did I, what are 459 Yankee and 459 Yankee Alpha? Uh, both pictures of a Infinity Q50. How uh, are you able to uh, recognize them? Uh, the shape of the vehicle, um, the headlights are pretty distinctive. Uh, the front grille um, and the tail lights are also pretty distinctive. And it also says Q50 on the back of the Cat. Uh, picture there as well, too. And for your testimony to the jury, would using 459 Yankee and 459 Yankee Alpha aid you in describing a Q50 for the jury? Aid your testimony? What, do you mean that he's helped with this? Yes. Yes. Uh, your Honor, what are you at looking this at? time the state is tendering 459 Yankee and 459 Yankee Alpha for demonstrative purposes. All right. Uh those are admitted as demonstrative. Yeah, show everybody. These pictures is fun. Publishing State's Exhibit 459 Yankee. I don't trust nobody with this now, pocket right here on their shirt. Burnett, earlier when you were describing a Q50, what is it? What is the most significant physical aspects of this making model? You mean like what makes it stand out the Correct. most? Correct. Um, I'd probably say the headlights on the front. Objection, grill. hearsay, opinion, something, relevance. The witness not even relevance. Objection, witness relevance. Now, currently, so you've also had an Infinity Q50, you said, since 2020? Correct. How has, since it came on the market in 2014 to present day, uh, has the shape or the vehicle itself changed much? Not much at all. No job. Now, Mr. Burnett, Yo. does your Infinity <laughs> Q50 2020... See, some people might have been mad I just objected. But did you hear Weinstein? I was just early. Don't be mad. Don't be mad. I just was early. You got to give me the cred, though. You heard it. I know you thought I was nuts. Like, yo, why you say that? Yeah, for real. Have How does the front emblem look? Is it any different in terms of uh, lighting? Uh, there's some options on the, the newer versions of it, like 16 and up, where you can, it likes you lights up at night when the headlights are on. Was that a feature when it first came on the market in 2014? No. Do you know when that lighting first came into in, Infinity Fleet? In 2016, when they changed the engine sizes in the car. It went from a 3.7 to a, either a 2.0 or a 3.0. Now, uh, with, is that is in 459 Yankee are the rims on the tires? Is that standard, not standard? How would you describe those? Uh, those are standard wheels on it. Um, there's two options. There's the 19s and the 18s. Well, and some have, well, it's three. So 17s, 18s, and 19s. Um, looking at it, those appear to be the 18 as well as are on. Now, Ms. Burnett, earlier you had said, you'd mentioned about when Infinity got away from naming the cars off the engine size, that they had a decal. <laughs> Is that correct? Correct. Can you, uh, Show the jury if you see it. Is that decal visible in 459 Yankee? Uh, yes. Um, if you go just slightly back from the front wheel, um, you can see a silver uh, kind of what? spot or kind of there. That's actually the decal that's on it. Mr. Burnett, I'm going gonna, gonna to move this mouse. You tell me if I'm getting closer. Uh, keep going. Okay. Same direction. Yeah, you're you're right there at it now. That it. is yeah. the the decal that indicates the engine size. Objection! Who goddamn caused that? Uh, 
That's correct. Relevance. Who's caused this? What is This ain't the one, Doug. Rent it. This thing got 10 on it. They, t- they said they took the 10. On- Man, they. Now, turning to 459 Yankee Alpha. Man. Can you describe for the jury what stands out to you in terms of it is different about the Infinity Q50 compared to other Infinity makes and models? Uh, just the shape of the tail lights are a little different than some of the other models are. Um, they kind of mirror the headlights where they're kind of a little more kind of sunken into the body of the car. Objection. And what uh, <clears throat> do you all have certain naming conventions for the colors that the cars may what come do you in? Say? Uh, yes, uh, this particular color is diamond graphite. Oh my god! <clears throat> now that's a cap now, name for a color. Did you? When did you leave the? What was your last job in the state of Georgia before you left? I was service consultant at South Atlanta, the Jonesboro location. And have you, when you moved to North Carolina, did you work with an Infinity company yes, there? Yes, same role, yes. Just at the, in Charlotte, yes. Now, back in March of 2016, what location were you working in for Infinity? Uh, Union City, um, the um, 4201 Jonesboro Road, Infinity of South Atlanta. Now, do you recall uh, a time where any law enforcement personnel ever came by that location when you were working to interact with you? Vaguely. Um, There was, and I don't remember the exact date or time, but there were some officers that came in. um, They were directed towards me at the time. I was like the assistant manager or lane manager, sometimes we'll call it. Um, And I think one of my other employees pointed in my direction. Um, They had some photos or like a poster board of a car and they just kind of asked some questions about what type of car it was. Um, and there may have been a few other questions. I don't recall what they were. And then they were like, Hey, we're just part of an investigation. We'll probably be in contact at some point. Now, Mr. Burnett, do you have any independent memory of what, of what kind of car? Adam's going to cross exam. Yeah. He going, he going to rock you to sleep. Or, the vehicle was that they showed you in those photographs? Not, not in 2016, no. Okay. Now, I want to publish, Your Honor, what's already been admitted as 296 Yankee, and I'm, the state's going to start the publishing at 8 minutes and 30 seconds. All right. He better not say that's that co- – man – That boy's drunk right now. Yo has some Ciroc because it's on sale because Puffy in trouble. He been drinking that wholesale Ciroc he been getting from his liquor liquor distributor. Ever since Puffy got in trouble, they been selling it wholesale. Yo lips then got pinker than ever. Look, he, he don't know what's going on right now. He about to get the shakes. He need a little bottle. He thinking about it. Mr. Burnett, while that's getting set up, oh, yeah, sorry. in uh, preparation for your testimony, have you... Hang on just oh, sorry, you're on. I, I don't see anybody waiting. Have you, more recently than 2016, reviewed some surveillance video and, and photographs for your trial testimony? Yes. You're on a publishing, States Exhibit 296, Yankee, at eight minutes and 29 seconds. All right. If we go check that boy car outside, yo got thousands of miniature bottles on the floor in the back of his 2009 Infinity. 
Ms. Burnett, if you can, just watch this screen. Okay. Man, he bet not. He bet not. He bet not. Pausing. He bet not. Now, Mr. Burnett. What what the hell are you going to tell you from Mr. this Mr. Burnett was, I know that clip was quick. I'm going to publish 292 uh, Yankee Hotel, which is already admitted. Now, is that surveillance video clip that you just watched? Have you reviewed that before testifying in court here today? Yes. And what what vehicle was depicted in 292 Yankee between eight minutes and 30 seconds? Objection. Minutes and 40 seconds. Uh, It was Infinity Q50. Now I'm going to briefly on the screen. What's going to be published is 292 Yankee Hotel. Let me know when you can see that. Is this a still frame from the surveillance video that we just watched a moment ago? Uh, it's no. Bro. Yes, it looks the same. Now, what? Can you describe for the jury what um, stood out to you about being able to identify this as an Infinity Q50? Uh, the headlights, the way they appear. You also can see the black grill. And what? Kind of hard on this one, but as it gets closer, you can see like a little bit of the logo, like hey. the silver reflecting in the front grill area. And when you mean when it gets closer, you mean when as what? it starts to come, I guess, closer to where it before it come, goes off the screen. Publishing, Your Honor, what's already been admitted as two ninety two Yankee Indigo. Now, they are going to punish him on the cross exam. Hurry up, bro. Let him get the cross. Yo, they are going to punish him. Punish him. Mr. Burnett, is this also a, I know it's, currently blocked, but st- still framed from the surveillance video that we just watched. Yeah, that still seems to be the same car, the Q50. Now, I, what I'm going to do, Mr. Burnett, is I'm going to replay 292 Yankee at 830. You tell me when to stop when you had mentioned the silver emblem, right, as it uh, as the car gets closer in your words. So I'm going to play 292 Yankee starting at 8 minutes and 30 seconds, and you just tell me when to stop when you think it would be uh, helpful to okay. see that. <laughs> Man, we looked at this. You cannot make out what car that is, bro. I'm sorry, it's, it's very it's real right. quick. It's all right. Um, I'm going to publish 292 Yankee Juliet. Which already been admitted as 292 Yankee Juliet. Hold up. Can we see this dude last eye exam? Let's get some clarity on what type of vision we dealing with right here. Because maybe I'm off. Maybe Holmes got 10, 10 or something. You can almost see the reflection of it right in that screen there. Almost. Bro, somebody <laughs> life on the line, cuz. Yo don't understand the severity of what he doing right now. Somebody life on the line. What you talking about almost, cuz? You flew here for almost? Man. Describe and by the reflection of it, do you mean what? What do you mean by that? It's almost like where I guess the lights or the street lights or whatever are reflecting off of it. And man, kind of like if you look in between the, the headlights, you can see there's something there. It's not black like the rest of the grill is. And you mean the front part of that Infinity Q50? Yeah, the logo that's in the front of it. And when you had mentioned this is is this almost basically when you said as the vehicle gets closer as it's driving off screen when you reviewed this surveillance video is uh, 
at what point from where the car currently is to when it's off screen did you know hey yo i got i got just the amount of years in being a video expert and i'm gonna tell you with grainy with grainy footage to this extent you cannot make a credible determination of what vehicle is down to a make and model and year off of this video footage right here. I'm hard stamping that. And I bet you if you ask a whole bunch of other video um, experts, they're going to say the same thing. Nah, in, the, in court, this right here? Nah. Off clarity of the lights. We talking design, how how intricate design is. And we going away. We looking at blurry pixels. And we going to let a dude tell us for sure, 100%, what he know. With blurry pixels, y'all, this my game right here, y'all. Nah, they playing in my field right here. Nah, we ain't doing this. And I can explain why. We not doing this right now. We not doing this right now. Real rap. This is grain, grainy footage, y'all. Blurry pixels. Pixels melting together, which breaks up design straight up. Like, we talking about the more you blow this up, the more blurry these lines going to get, y'all. What is that? Um, originally, right, well, when you originally played it the very first time we spoke about it, um, I noticed it pretty quickly. Um, I, to, to, honestly, the very first time I looked at it, I was just looking at the car. I didn't even see what was going on in the side. And then the second time you read me back, I saw all the other stuff that was going on with it. Um, so, I mean, as you recall, when I first saw it, I was like, well, that's a Q50. And, and you were like, how do you know that's a Q50? And we kind of went through the same. I was like headlights to uh, the grill and same thing. And then also the taillights you can kind of see as it's taken off. Um, now, thank you, Mr. Burnett. Now, since March of 2016, when law enforcement came and spoke to you, to present day today, uh, ha have do you have any other knowledge or information or any information about this case that the surveillance video is involved in? No. Mr. Burnett, I'm all... Yo, if somebody come to you as an infinity expert and ask you, is this an infinity? Is that leading? <laughs> the fact of the matter is it's not whether or not that really is an infinity the fact of the matter is you can't really make an determination from that from that video footage that's the fact that's the fact the footage is botched not the determination Making a determination from that footage is botched. That's the problem. He got led. Seriously, if you was just shown this randomly, you would be guessing and floating. Yo was led to narrow down which infinity it was. Also going to publish 292 Yankee starting at 10 minutes and 40 seconds through 10 minutes and 47 seconds. It's gonna. Uh, it's close. Yeah. Mr. Burnett, that surveillance video uh, that we saw is that. Have you seen that angle before? Uh, today I saw it. Okay, in, in preparation for your for right. testifying, and in that, do what? Oh, they prepped you before you testify. Okay. So you knew what you was trying to point out. You knew for years what you needed to point out. Since 2015, you knew your whole task with talking to the police about this is to verify that that is a Q50. Now, let me ask you the initial time you was asked to verify what car this is. How was it presented to you? Was it told to you that this was an infinity or did you point it out to be an infinity first? Which one, sir? How far do you see in... 
296 Yankee between 10 minutes and 40 seconds until when we paused it at 10 minutes and 48 seconds. It's the same car from before, just a different angle, it looks like. We're seeing more of the back end of it. Earlier, you had mentioned the quarterly training that you've gotten since working in Infinity. Can you describe what that entails for the jury? Um, so anytime there's any new models or any new features or anything that's been added to the cars, um, they will have to go through certifi certification tests on them. Um, it could be modules to where we have to do like interactive videos and answer questions at the end, or it could just be an article that we have to review and then go back and answer questions. It just depends. Usually on a brand new model, it's more interactive stuff because they want to make sure that you're following along and know what's going on. You'll just skip straight to the test. But sometimes with some of the refresher stuff, like if it's just a a, spe a specification change like the engine size or new wheel package or something. It'll just be like some articles that we just read and then answer the questions based off of that. Well, since you familiar with the body style and the lights and the grill and all of these things, what cars can you tell me look similar to this year Q50 that you might get mixed up with it? Could you name those cars? And while you at it, could you name the sister companies that work with Infinity? So we can get a gist of that. I mean, you are an uh, expert on it. So could you give us, you know, the alternatives to what someone might consider this being in that video footage? Could you name those as well, please? One brief moment, Your Honor. Hey, Adams Ray Rock. Adams on a cross exam. Hey, how are you? How you doing? Um, one of the last things you said was that they turned his mic off. I think Curtis, you mentioned sometimes brought their cars in to be serviced at the location that you worked at, correct? Correct, because we're close by the airport, so we would get a lot of their cars brought in. So, um, do you have any personal interaction with any car, any Q fifty that would have been brought into? Uh, your dealership back in January or February of 2015. I, I wouldn't be able to recollect that. And you would not have been the one to, to observe or look at. I might tell him his mic off. From Hertz. Anyways, would you? Only thing I would do was check it in, which basically would mean getting the mileage, then played off of it, um, and doing like a walk around on it for damage. That would, as far as that would be my end as far as inspecting it. Okay. But. In 2015, was it 2015 or 16 when the Atlanta police came to talk to you about infinities? I, I don't actually remember the exact date. You have yeah, no that's... real memory, no clear memory of when that was, right? No, not the date, no. Okay. Um, is it fair to say that when they came to see you, though, um, they didn't bring a, an actual vehicle with them for you to uh, look at or offer your opinion on? Right? No, they were like photos. They were photos. Yeah. Um, the images that you just saw, and I'm going to ask the state's indulgence in a bit to put some of those back up again. You would agree with me, though, that those photos. We're good. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, Who changed the station? Images, right? The what's that? The photos they brought in, or yeah, the, photos, the photos that you were just looking at, and the video you just looked at, still shot, and then the two videos, one of the car rolling forward from the front, the other from the back. Well, the photos here are color. The ones that they. Can I step up. You yeah. right. right. So these. Um, and I'm going to reference for the purpose of the record 459 and 459A. These are the photographs that were presented to you from the state a little while ago, right? Correct. Right. Now, that's not what I'm talking about, though. I'm talking about the video that you were looking at um, uh, that the state played. Uh, would you agree that was a black and white video? I don't know if I would classify it as black and white. Now, it wasn't the greatest of quality of video, but I would say it was black and white. Okay. Let's look at it again. Um, would you be kind enough, please, to put up uh, what the state has marked as uh, 292YI? 
Yes. Uh, now, you read uh, 292YI. That's the image that you looked at before, correct? Yes. Right. You're not able to tell what the color of that vehicle is, are you? Um, I can tell it's a grayish color. I mean, just like the color, the car that's behind the white one Cat. appears to be like a reddish color. Okay. Um, so let's see. Are you going to tell me that that? Vehicle that you said is in, in infinity is a what did you say it was it was a diamond graphite color vehicle? I, could I say it from the picture? No, I mean from this. No, I couldn't say it was diamond graphite, okay. but I could say it's grayish in shade though. Okay. Um, you said that you recognize this as an infinity because of your familiarity with infinities, correct? Correct. Now, to be clear, you're not an you're not a scientific expert. Right? No. Yeah. Didn't I say that? As an expert in infinity's identification of vehicles, true? No scientists, no. Okay. Y'all thought I was capping. Y'all thought I was capping when I said that. I told y'all that boy ain't no spec. Like boy, you ain't like you know this. Like this your specialty for real, or you this just your opinion? And 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 because you worked closely to it. That's not what we need right here. You ain't no expert, boy. You can't tell us that 100%. You going off of your assumption because you closer to it than us. You a lay witness. Law as an expert in identification Never been to court before anything for it, but as far as an expert in knowing infinities, I Game probably say yes, I know all the models. Okay. Tell me whether or not that vehicle that you're looking at, the one that you've identified as an infinity, has standard size wheels or non-standard wheels on it, as you described earlier. We're talking about the screen, not the pictures, right? No, on screen. Yes. I, I couldn't, you can barely see the wheels from this. All right. Um, looking at that image that the state showed you that's on the screen right now, uh, tell me where you see on that that there is a, an infinity uh, emblem or insignia on the front grill. This one doesn't capture it. He tried to roll it forward to where you could see that there is something silver in it, but it, technically they couldn't get stop it at the right time. Well, you said technically, but you, you don't see it at all, do you? Not in this frame, no. And in fact, when you were describing the uh, the image you said earlier, or you saw earlier, you said that you can quote, almost see it. Am I saying that? Correct. All right. Um, looking at this vehicle. Almost. Ain't good enough. Uh, on the on the screen, are you able to tell whether or not there's any damage to the front bumper or fender of that vehicle? If those been some sort of accident of some sort? Not on the screen, no. Are you able to see anyone? If there's anyone hanging out of the uh, the sunroof? Not not from this angle, no. Thank you. I'm curious, um, in, do you know whether or not the 2014 uh, Infiniti Q50s have, uh, I'm going to use OnStar, but I, I don't know if there's another name for tracking. It's, in, it's Infinity Connect, yes. That, that's a tracking system. Correct. Right. Do you know whether all of the Infiniti Q50s have tracking um, software in it that would allow you to... to to track the car and tell you where the car is at a given time? They have the, the capability, but it has there's a subscription that has to be paid for it to, to be able to do it. Okay. So if, if the subscription isn't paid, then it's not active for us for you to track it at the time. Okay. <laughs> he got child support issues. They said his baby mother named Tamara and his son named Spencer. He used to live in Augusta. Yeah, he don't know nothing about this criminal court, but that boy ducking child support. I heard. You testified earlier, and I'm, I'm still representing the other. That's not my opinion. That's what the streets say. Hey, I don't know, yo. That's just the street T. Yeah. No, not Arizona. It's street T. Yeah. 
get you a cup. Images and stuff on the screen, right? You testified earlier about there being an, an emblem on the side of the Infinity Q50, just a little bit behind the uh, the front wheel, right? You remember that testimony? Yeah, but that was off of the picture, though. Okay, right. So, so put the picture side for right now, and just looking at the image <laughs> that was shown to you by the state, and this is the same image that was shown to you back in 2015, right? No, we just, they just had pictures. They had like pictures that came back in then. There was no videos or anything then. Okay. So APD came to see you in 2015, they didn't show you this video? No. Okay. Um, so look at the video that you're seeing right now that you've identified. Um, look at that car. Why not see where that, that emblem on the side of the vehicle is that, that tells us it's an infinity? You, you can't see it from this angle. Not on the video. They asked basically to identify what kind of vehicle it was. And just so I'm clear, were the still shots that they showed you still shots from this video? I honestly don't know where the pictures, I mean, it's, that was 15, what, 15, 16 when they came? I don't, honestly don't know where they got the pictures from. And they never told you, right? No, they basically said that they, you know, they had, there may be some further questions they may ask and they'd be in contact. And that was, that was that. Was that the only time that they came to ask you anything about any infinities? Yes. I didn't hear anything about it again until was it April or May, I think, they reached out. Um, um, I guess they still had my number on file from when uh, initially I took the did the interview, and they called and asked um, if I remembered it. And I honestly didn't remember a whole lot of it at the time. As we talked further into it, I some of it started to come back, but I didn't. Did they videotape the interview? remember what kind of car was involved or any of that until I actually saw the video that they played for me. When you, when you say they called you, are we talking about the DA's office? Or yes, you? yes. You didn't talk to anyone from the DA's office back in 2015, did you? No, I, I would assume it was just a local uh, police. They were in uniform, so. The police officer? Yes. First time that you've seen that video, and when I say that video, I'm going to refer to 292YJ. I think that's the one that um, that you said you saw from. It's the back view of the vehicle. Yes, the store or whatever. It looked like a store or something from from what I could see. Um, Mr. Knight, would you be kind of pleased to put up a 292YJ point? Hmm. <coughs> Boot smoke. If you're new to this channel, subscribe to the channel, y'all. Tap the that's like button. That's 296 wide at time stamp between 840 and 847. You gotta love it. It's coming down to the wire. You got Adams closing. Pitching a no-hitter.
you just see the image that uh, is running across the screen there, Mr. Brand? Yes. And it's just trying to run that one more time. Mics be overcharged, causing feedback. It's multiple reasons it cause feedback, but um, electronic devices cause feedback, crosses and wires, yeah. bad wires. Okay. Yep. This one, yes. If Adam's got his phone in his pocket and he leaning close to a mic, it could do it. Correct, yes. Questions for this witness? Shot. All right. Is there any redirect? Oh, go ahead. Shot ain't want no smoke. Mr. Rat, when law enforcement came to meet you, did they ask you if it was a baby or ask you if it was what car it was that you were looking at? They just asked me to identify the car, uh, the vehicle. Um, and since you and I have spoken or met, have you always lived in the state? Yes. And previously, were we able to speak or Zoom with one another? It was the first day we met in person. You flew in today. Correct. Uh, Ms. Burnett, I'm going to try so to slow this video down. So the state's going to publish 292 Yankee Alpha. It's going to go at a slower pace. And if you see Ms. Burnett, where you want to freeze it, it is hot and clean on the front grill, just like that. Okay. For the purposes of the, the, of the record, we're starting at 8 minutes and 32 seconds okay. on 292 Yankee Alpha.
Ms. Burnett, did, did that help any slowing it down, Mr. Burnett? Not, not really. That's fair. It's fair. Now, some of the questions, do you remember being on, on cross-examination, you were asked questions about, can you see the decal or can you tell about the tires? Do you recall that? Yeah, the jump, what questions he was asked? Yes. Yeah. And with this surveillance video that you've seen, is it that they don't exist or you're unable to give an answer on those questions because of the surveillance video? They Objection exist, calls for speculation. Able. Um, overruled. You may answer, Mr. Burnett. Okay. Um, of course, it, the wheels and the, the those things exist on it, and you know it's a Q50, so it's kind of hard to, being that I know the vehicle, it's kind of hard to know, okay, that's a Q50, and I know where everything is on it at, but trying to necessarily make it fit into the video where I can say stop right here, I see it, it's kind of a little hard to do in real time. Um. And for the court's time, I don't know if we got this time to start to just dissecting and stopping it every two seconds to see if we can get to there. But again, I've seen the pictures. I drive a Q50, so I know like, you know, what actually is on the vehicle and where it's located at. But as um, far as trying to, using this quality of video, as far as to stop it, it's kind of hard to do. Thank you, Mr. Burnett. The state has no further questions for Mr. Burnett. All right, Mr. Adams. They, they may have a couple more questions for you, sir. Oh, I'm sorry. They're all this term, but not quite. So, Mr. Burnett. Yes, sir. So even though in the, the still shots and the video that we've seen, right, we don't see the identifying item that you mentioned. We don't see a decal, right? Not in the video, no. We don't see the, uh, the, uh, the the emblem on the infinity emblem on the front. Not in the video, no. We can't identify whether it's a standard size wheels or whatever kind of wheels that you referenced before, right? Not in the video, no, sir. Um, so even though we can't see any of the things that you say would identify something as an infinity, your testimony is that you know that it's an infinity. Well, Right, so this is not the same car? Like, uh, you, you tell me, is, is that the same car? It looks like the same car in the video. It's a Q50. Oh, it. You pay. Game over. Game so over. You're, you're thinking that 459 and 459A, which has been given to you by the state, you believe that this is the same car that's been shown in that video? This that's, the video is definitely a Q50, yes. Okay, is it, you think it's this car? It appears, as far as the color and everything else, appears to be, but... What, what? Does, does this... Again, these are all standard things. It's, it's not like this is, uh, what, has what? custom wheels on it or it has a custom grill. Those are all the standard things that's on the car. So every Infinity has the grill. I mean, has the yeah. logo on the grill. Every Infinity has a badge on the side. Those are the standard headlights. Those are the standard taillights. Right. So if it's a Q50, then uh -huh. it has those things. So, so every Infinity has that uh, that emblem on the grill that we can't see on the on the video, right? Q50, yes. Every Q50 has that emblem on the side that we can't see on the video, right? Correct. Every Infinity has maybe standard, maybe not standard wheels that we can't see on the video, right? Correct. But your testimony to this jury is that these pictures given to you by the state is the same vehicle that's on that video. Correct. All right. That's all. All right. Now all right. you're free to go. All right. Thank you. <laughs> all right. And it's just about five o'clock. So I think we'll break for the day.
And I'm going to remind y'all, um, sometimes I give you a longer reminder, um, that you need to decide this case based only on the evidence that's admitted inside this courtroom. So please don't use the Internet or any other source, electronic or otherwise, to get any kind of information about this case or about um, concepts. All right, salute. So if you're watching this on the playback, subscribe to the channel. So as you just seen, Adam successfully just debunked them and turned it into so it's still, you can't say for certain. So he took the certainty out of that boy testimony and that boy been waiting for nine years to testify. Yo took the certainty out of that boy testimony and how he felt about that image. And let's, I mean, that might've been about 60 seconds just now on that last little clip. He worked him real good. Yeah. If that was a truck stop, uh, you know, uh, lizard, she wouldn't, she'd have had to go to sleep for the night. Yeah, the way um, Adams just stepped up. Yeah, she'd have had to lay down for the night. It's no more work tonight. Yeah, it's, we saw. He, he made him sore, y'all. Yeah, he going to hang, he going to sit, he need a donut for the ride home. He going to need to sit on the donut. He going to need to sit on the donut real rap, bro. Like, I wonder how the state feel. They going to need a donut too. That was nine years worth for them trying to like, yo, all we need is to bring that infinity expert. They like, you right. We got the infinity expert. You right. Once we bring him, we going to be in there. He going to clarify the logos, the wheels. He going to tell the jury ain't going to be able to deny it. They ain't account for Adam's apple. That's crazy though, right? Right? <laughs> That's crazy though, right? That's crazy, though. They just knew they had one with Holmes. I was calling it the home time, y'all. I meant that. I'm really, like, when y'all hear me say, yo, I'm a video expert, I'm really not trolling. According to their definition of experts, I've really spent a lot of time editing videos, y'all, and shooting with cameras. And I stand on the, that what I said about that video. To make 100% certainty, ain't no... Person that deal with video footage going to go and say, yo, you going to make 100% certainty with that quality of footage? I'm telling you, ask a video person. I'm telling you, it ain't a video person that no cause. Ask them, will they go 100%? Somebody life on the line. Ask them that. Yo, will you use this footage right here and say for certain? That's an infinity confetti. I'm t watch what they say. With somebody life on the line, would you stand on that? Watch what they say. I'm telling you, they're going to say no. Because I can see that it could be something else right here. You ain't. They're going to look at you and ask, you ain't got no other footage? I, I don't want to go off this. I'm not saying for certain. I'm leaning. I'm leaning. But that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. It's somebody life on the line, bro. You really making that call? Well, hold on. I switch it up on you. How about the jury? The jury got to make the decision whether they believe that was the infinity or not in somebody's life on the line. You making this call? Nope, I'm not. Let me know what you think in the comments, though.